All we want to see is the game progress and to, to get further up in the World Series level. And if that means we have to wear a small bikini, then we wear a small bikini. So once we've got sand to play on and a good facility and a good coach, then that's the way it is. It might seem a little odd um, going to all the trouble of building a beach uh, near London when, when uh, Britain is an island and we're, we're never more than an hour or two's drive from the sea. But unfortunately it's not quite as simple as that because a lot of our beaches in, in the UK are not sand. Uh, they're, they're gravel or stones, in some cases large stones and rocks. The coarse grade sand would be too coarse to use directly for a volleyball pitch. It would be slightly too abrasive um, and our medium grade or leisure sand may be slightly too, too fine. So we've, we've blended the two products together to give us a material which is soft enough to touch that's not to cause any abrasion but is coarse enough to hold itself and have a, have a bit of give and movement when people land and, and, and move around on it. If it's too fine it may just blow away. As you can imagine, the uh, United Kingdom does get a lot of rain, but the grain of sand that we've got here is such that it's a little bit bigger, which allows drainage, so you can carry on playing uh, despite it raining. In fact, just two days ago, we had pouring with rain, but people were still playing uh, with our weekly league that goes on. So I think if you don't mind getting wet playing football in the park, why not get wet playing beach volleyball on the sand? It's not quite Rio de Janeiro, but the sand under your feet while you're playing with your friends and fresh air, it's just a wonderful place to be. Wouldn't play in a bikini. <laughs> not this time of day. Maybe a swimming costume. <laughs> <laughs> you. 